Food Fighters is a two-player battle-it-out card game featuring team meats and team veggies. Begin by deciding who will be playing which team and have them randomly lay out a 3x3 three three structure of your team, touching that of the opposing player. Once done, make a pile of goodies aside your two teams and place the price card near it. This is your kitchen. These goodies will aid your fighters to win. These goodies include beans, crackers, pans, spoons, and your three unique power cards. I'll focus in on the veggies team. What I'll say will directly relate to both teams. On your turn, you may swap two of your player card locations or a player to an empty space. Remember, swapped players can bring any equipment they have with them and each swap gives you one free bean. You may attack the opposing player by indicating who is attacking and who is being attacked and roll your dice. Mind you, each player only has a reach of one card, adjacent or in front. Or you could roll for beans, which will allow you to continue to roll the dice until no splats show up. Once done, collect your beans. You may then follow up with spending your acquired beans to buy something from the kitchen. Your character has a reach of one card and will only attack the player they are thinking about. A spoon can extend your reach to as far straight or as far diagonal as possible. It is returned to the kitchen after use, hit or miss. A pan will cover your thoughts and allow you to attack any player. It will remain on your fighter until a hit is successful. A cracker will defend against one splat token. When broken, it will be removed from the game permanently. Reminder: Fighters can't hold duplicate items. Attacks are delivered through splats. Each roll of the dice will give you a splat or bean. You cannot gather beans if you have indicated an attack and rolled a splat. With at least one splat, you make a hit and the indicated enemy is knocked out. Two splats can break through a cracker and the card. Keep in mind, if you get zero splats during your attack, you can gather the amounted beans in the dice roll and keep them as a prize. You can also purchase a bonus die, which is available for either team, whoever buys it first. However, you may not purchase the die again if it was used that turn. Lastly, in the kitchen, the power-up cards, with varied prices and unique abilities, these cards can greatly influence or derail your chances at winning. On these cards lay symbols. The X symbol means it has a one use and must be discarded from the game after. A lightning offers a multi-use and is returned to the kitchen after. An infinity symbol means you can keep the card in front of you and it will stay active until the remainder of the game. Don't forget to fill in any gaps in your formation when any are present. Game ends when an opponent has knocked out three of a kind.